So QQ plots are related to the ogive, which is the cumulative distribution function. The QQ plot compares the quantiles of the data to quantiles of a calculated data set with the same mean and standard deviation as the set of data you've got, but following a normal distribution. So the quantiles are regularly sampled values of the ogive of the data. And the ogive is the graph of cumulative frequency. It shows what percentage of the data is valued as that value or less. So for example, when you're looking at the QQ plot for height, you can see that there's a straight line. So the straight line would be the perfect QQ plot. So that means you've got a perfect correlation between your normal cumulative distribution function and what you actually observe with the experimental data. If you have points that deviate away from this, this means that there's some irregularity and it's not perfectly normally distributed. In this case, they're very close and it seems quite reasonable. There's just some deviation at the end. There is a slight S shape in it, which suggests there might be some problems. Looking at the female one, that S is more pronounced and the male one, it's less pronounced. There's a better fit to the line, but there's also that uh, outlier. What you can do is then plot the deviations, which SPSS does as well. So in this case, you can see that S shapes deviation from the line. What you should see is a random scatter above and below zero with no patterns in it. If you have patterns, then it suggests that your data might not be normally distributed.